Hello YouTube, this is APC, and today we're making another platformer tutorial. This one was suggested by Philip Coolable. He asked me to make Sonic Slopes and Paths. And these are both rather complicated, so today I'm going to cover slopes and not next tutorial, but in some other tutorial in the near future, I'm going to cover loops. So to get started, I'm in the basic platformer right now. We're going to change our player sprite to... Next, we create our slope. So call it SDR slope. And we want to take up the entire width of the room, and the default width of the room is 640 pixels. And take 206 sides to add to it. So now, take your pencil tool and draw your slope. Now, the more smooth this slope is, the better this will work. Object and make its parent our OG solid. Of course, don't forget to set this right. Also, don't forget to make slope solid. Our player object, we are going to need to change around this little bit. Now, this part right here is fine, just leave it. This is what we need to change around. So, a uh, circle. So, this is moving to left and right, won't, won't work anymore. Because if it's on the ground, we want its direction to adjust so that it will be able to stay on the slope. So what we're going to do is, but we still want this to happen in the air, so what we're going to do is we're going to split this up a little bit. And we want this section of the code to happen here. I'll just go through the left and go through the right way. I want this section of the code to happen only if we're in the air. So, yeah, I'll put down right here, fifth place, three, next, five plus one, then, but, if we're not in the air, then we gotta use the new code I'm gonna show you. Which will take place right here. Signifies when you press the left button, do not need Okay. So I'm going to create two, two variables. First one is I'm going to call S, which is the same as speed, because I don't want to use speed because it fills a variable and do things that I want it to. So we're going to have set speed to 6. The next variable I'm going to create is dire. Or we're going to start at 270. What we want to do, 270 is pointing directly downwards. We're going to have it start. Trying to go downwards, but can't go downwards. It'll slowly move the direction more to the left until we find one where it can move along the slope. So the way we do that is we create a loop. That loop's gonna be a while loop. So we want to keep looping as long as we would hit hit a solid if that direction were to go. So the way we're gonna do that is if not place three. And now I'm gonna teach you a little bit of Trig stuff. So let's say we have our object and we're trying to test whether at a 45 degree angle and 5 pixels away, we're trying to test whether there's something, whether you can go that direction. So then if you look at it at, as what we need to add to the x, add to the y, it becomes a triangle. A right sided triangle, no less. So now I'm going to tell you how, to, how we can use trig to solve for x and y. So if we have just know that sine of an angle equals the opposite side of the angle and then divided by the hypotenuse. So if you plug everything in, that's sine of 45 equals y divided by 5. And then if you simplify that, that is y equals 5 times sine 45. So now we figured out how to solve for y, and we can use similar logic for solving for x. Then if you plug in our, our s variable and I put down data, but in our for our code it's dire variable, then you get x equals s times cosine data and y equals s times sine data. 
so that's how we know what we need to add. So for place for three, we're testing x plus s times cosine dy, and then y minus s times sine dy. And the reason why we use a minus for sine and a plus for x is because in Game Maker the axes are flipped for some reason so the higher y gets the more further down you are so it's a little bit weird also for the dire these trig functions don't work with regular degrees between 0 and 360 like we're used to they work with radians so i'm not going to explain the radians i'm just going to put down the code to convert dire to radians and that is times So it's going to keep repeating this code we put here until it finds the spot where um, it can move to. So we're going to do dire minus equals 5 every time. So it'll start at 270 and then become less and less until we find the right. Once we found it, we'll move to this, this spot that we, we found. So I'll just copy this. This will be y minus equals that, and x plus equals that. Now let's take away this right, and we'll just copy our left down and repeat it. So you change it from left to right, and then plus 4 instead of negative 4. I just change plus 6. Then, right here, just need to add 5 each time rather than take away 5. So now we've got that taken care of, let's go into our room. Let's delete all the, all the default stuff. And put the player up there and put our slope down. Slopes down. So now let's test it out. See, see how well our player adapts to the slope. All right. So here we have it. When I press the right button, we square for the slope. Press left button, we square for the slope. If I jump, it'll land on the slope fairly well. So, and that's how you make something move the slope. It should uh, give similar effect as um, they use in Sonic. And uh, yeah, so I hope hope that makes sense. All right. That's all for this tutorial. Take off the list. If you have any other suggestion materials I can add to this list, by all means, suggest them and I'll get them done. Also, one more announcement. I am going to stop making... I'm going to make one more Tuesday Challenges video. That's going to be it. So from now on, I'm going to... The footage in the credits is going to represent your challenge. So if, if you wanted to challenge yourself to so you, you, you figure this out, watch the credits and the footage you see there if you try and replicate that. Alright, so I hope you um, learned something from this video, and I'll see you guys next time.